Whether you are a freelancer or an agency owner in the marketing space, you need an efficient way to issue proposals and contracts, stay on top of your business finances, and ultimately ensure your client projects are effectively well-managed. After much trial and error, I have finally settled on a tool called Hello Bonsai, or just Bonsai for short, that has made the operations side of running my marketing consultancy over the past two years far simpler and much more stress-free. So whether you're already happy with the tools you use to manage the operations side of running your marketing business, or if maybe you're even a bit of a hot mess at the moment, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use Bonsai as an all-in-one centralized dashboard to run and manage my business. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I'm an independent marketing strategist based in beautiful Denver, Colorado, working primarily on branding, web design, and ongoing marketing engagements with my clients. Today, we're gonna to be covering how I use Bonsai to manage the operations, sales, and accounting side of my business. Generally, I am a bit skeptical of these all-in-one tools because in my experience, they tend to be jacks of all trades, but masters of none. However, Bonsai is the rare tool that is the exception. Before using Bonsai, I was using a bunch of different tools that were disconnected and just not speaking to each other that ultimately made using these tools more difficult and time-consuming and was also more expensive. So I was using Prospero for proposals and contracts. I was using FreshBooks for accounting and I was using ClickUp for project management. However, now instead of using Bonsai's built-in project management features, I use Basecamp instead. If I could go back in time and talk to my younger self as I was setting up this business, I would have definitely told him to sign up for Bonsai and start using that from the start because especially on the financial side, it has made running my business so much easier and just gives me clear insight into everything that's going on. So it really has served these past few years as a centralized business dashboard where I can quickly log in, get an overview of my finances, how much money I'm taking in, what my expenses are, and thus what the net profit is. I can see all the different proposals that are out for clients. And then there's also a bunch of other features and tools we'll be exploring in this video that has just made running my business a lot simpler, a lot more stress-free, and ultimately more enjoyable. And honestly, who doesn't want that? Before we get to that though, we got to take care of the housekeeping. If you're interested at all in the different types of client work I'm doing, which I'm documenting via vlogs and case studies, as well as just some of these behind the scenes videos showing you how I run my business, then definitely subscribe to the channel, looking to put out at least one video per week and got a bunch of great ideas coming out for the new year. Do note, if you're interested in learning more about Bonsai after watching this video, there is a link in the description where you can learn more and sign up for a free trial and then maybe even subscribe to a plan. The link is an affiliate link, but I would not be promoting this if I wasn't already using this tool for several years now in my business and did not fully believe in it. I'm going to have like a $400 bill this upcoming month, which I fully plan to resubscribe and that'll be my third full year renewing Bonsai. So as you can see, I am fully committed to using Bonsai and would be promoting this link regardless of whether or not I earned any affiliate commissions. Now with the shameless self-promotion handled and out of the way, let's get into the screen share so you can see exactly how I use Bonsai to run my business. All right, so now we're in the screen share and looking at my Bonsai dashboard here. Now, do note, I am going to have to blur out a couple things as I go through the screen recording just because there is a lot of sensitive information, not just like client names, but also payment amounts. I'm sure you can understand, but regardless, I hope you are still able to get a very good sense of how I use Bonsai because it really has become an indispensable tool in my agency. And as you log into the dashboard, you're able to see some activity in terms of people viewing your proposals, paying your invoices, seeing how much you owe in taxes. And you can also see here in this little timeline chart where invoices are going to be sent out soon and then what has been paid already. And so this way, at a glance, you can get a good sense of your cash flow picture. Here, you have an automatic profit and loss. So I put this into this week so you can't see all my past financial information. We've made a solid $48 though at the start of 2025. So we're definitely gonna have to increase that for sure. And then as you can see here, there's like a time tracking so you can see how much you've been working. I use toggle for time tracking. So that is not included here. And then if you use this as a task management system, you can also have all your upcoming tasks listed right there. I use Basecamp for project management. I'll link a video up above 
above that if you want to see because I find it's just much more full featured and just also works a lot better for my clients. There's three main areas where Bonsai operates and you can see that broken out by the tabs here. We have client management. That's going to be things like proposals, contracts, scheduling forms. Then we're going to have project management. So that's going to be projects, tasks, things of that nature. You can see here, I don't really use this at all, but then you also have space for tasks. So you can use this like a task management system. You have time tracking built in, which is super helpful if you're looking to sheets. And then there's also tools for seeing if you have a team, for example, how many hours people are working, who has bandwidth and who doesn't. So if you had a team, I could see this being very helpful. And if you're also billing off your invoices on an hourly basis, I could also see how this would be helpful. But for me, all my clients are either retainer based or project based. So there's really no need for me to be time tracking. Like I said, I use toggle, but I only use that for internal purposes to keep myself accountable and then see what the project profitability is as well. And then finally here we have financial management. So that's gonna be things like invoices, payments, expenses, banking. I only use it for the client management and the financial management aspects. So now let's go in one by one. We'll start from the top and work our way down. So starting with clients and contacts, so this is basically like a roster of all your different clients. I don't wanna show that because obviously then you see personal information and I never even go in there anyway. Basically, what happens is as you go to create a proposal, what happens is that you, you need to enter in your client contact information and that's where the contacts and clients gets populated. Here's an example of a proposal I put together a very long time ago for a dog training company. And here you'll see there's an introduction, there's a game plan overview, there's a why hire us section. And then I have this process section, made some nice creative images just to visually explain to the client what the project would entail from a process perspective. So even if they're very visual people, they can just get a glance and see that this is clearly a well thought out professional process and if they're really interested they can read more about each step here so even though we have covered this in our initial conversations basically everything is going to be reiterated so that there's no confusion and then a scope of work breakout things of nature after that we get into costs and all that type of stuff so i don't want to go into that the client can digitally sign the proposal right in the software as well with the link they get another great thing about the bonsai proposal system is that if i click new proposal here number one they give you a bunch of templates i never really use these but you can save your own as templates so you can see here i have different templates if for example maybe i'm trying to hire a freelance developer or a copywriter proposals are already built out for that to have them use that as their contract essentially and then you can see here i also have other proposals for different services i offer so this makes issuing proposals super simple and very time efficient and then you also have the added convenience of allowing the client to digitally sign the proposal which is fantastic and finally we also have contracts here as well Here's an example of what one of the proposals look like. It's really just a Word document that essentially summarizes the proposal in terms of deliverable, scope, pricing as well. But then there's also a bunch of legal stuff at the end, which I paid to get developed when I was first starting out my business. So this is where like all the terms of service essentially lives. And then they're all able to digitally sign this as well in the Bonsai portal. I recommend using the contracts as well along with the proposals because the proposal is just like the agreement, but then the contract is what makes things legally binding. It's just helpful if you really need to cover yourself later on. Hopefully you're never in a position, at least I always hope I'm not, where I need to be talking to clients about the contract and like where we're legally obligated to do certain things. But you do need this to protect both yourself and your client. And if you don't have something like this, then you really need to get on it because if not, you're really opening up yourself to a bunch of potential issues in your business. And of course you can save contract templates in here as well. And then as they get signed, everything lives in here. So you can always pull up the contract later on. They do also have forms here. So I'll use this for like feedback forms after a website project to basically just collect some information about my client's experience of working with me. So this is very helpful. If I wasn't using Bonsai, I would just use Google Forms. So you don't really need any fancy form tool for a quick feedback surveys like this. And then scheduling, they do have their own Calendly-like scheduling tool in here. I need to look a little bit more into this because if I could save an extra $100, I would. But I don't think it's as full featured as Calendly in terms of like integrations, having separate events, embedding on your own website. So that's why I still use Calendly. Now we're in the financial management section. If I want to create a new invoice, it's super simple just to select the type of invoice it is. So we have single invoices, we have recurring invoices, which gets sent out automatically whatever interval you set. There are subscription invoices, which will automatically bill your client 
for a set period of time with the payment method they provide. So this is really good for all the marketing retainers I have. And essentially, instead of needing to bug the client and have them pay an invoice every single month, they're all busy. They don't wanna be paying the same thing every month. So I've never had a client really refuse to do the subscription invoice. Now you'll see here we're in the invoice section. I can add a name, I can change the logo, I can add in a bunch of information here, and then I can add in all the different information in terms of like deliverables. We can add in the tax, we can add in a bunch of other stuff here. So it's a very fully featured section here, and then I can send it right away via either a link to the client, or I can choose to schedule and send it out later. And then you can track when they open it and when it's ultimately paid. So it's a very powerful invoicing tool, just as powerful if not more powerful than FreshBooks, which was what I was using for accounting and invoicing before Bonsai. Then we have a payment section. As you can see here, this is where you can see payments. So again, what I really like about Bonsai is that you can just log in and at a glance, see a lot of what's going on in your business from a financial perspective, as well as like a sales perspective, like the proposals and contracts and invoices. So it's really helpful because without something visual like this, you would always be wondering to yourself, how many invoices do I have out? How much money is going to come in once those invoices get paid? But with a tool like Bonsai, you're just able to see everything at a glance automatically and keeps you very organized, keeps you very up to date. And at least for me, that removes any stress I may have when it comes to running my business. Then of course, income, you can have a list of all your different payments that have paid out. I don't really want to get into that, obviously. In terms of expenses, I'm more than happy to share with you the expenses I have because one, I am pretty frugal, I would say, but also two, this is not really super sensitive. Basically, you can have a running list. How it works is that you connect it to your bank account. In my case, I use a Capital One credit card so I can pay that off every month and then get a bunch of rewards so I can travel for free, hopefully. So as you can see here, then you have running expenses as they come in and then you're able to categorize things as they need to be. So this is just super helpful because when it comes time for taxes, one, I've already been doing this all year, so it's pretty organized. But then before I send over this information to my accountant or my CPA, basically I'm able to export this as a spreadsheet and then I'm able to make sure everything is categorized properly as he needs. And then I'm able to make sure all the numbers actually add up versus one year I did not have this type of a system and I had to go through all my expenses manually and it literally took me probably hours to do my taxes out here, which was a disaster versus now it takes me like two or three hours. We get it out of the way and it's all accurate. That's why Bonsai is super helpful for banking. There are also bookkeeping services included. So as you can see here, it's only the first month. I've made $107 and then we've had $95 of expenses. So we're sitting pretty with an $11 profit at the moment. As you categorize things, you can get a quick overview of all the different areas that you're spending money on. And then oftentimes we'll go in here and see something that seems way out of whack to me. And I'm like, all right, we got to cut costs in that category. And so I'm able to go into Bonsai and do that as well. So what I love about this is that you can just log in and see exactly how much money you're making, how much money you're spending and get an accurate overview of your business finances. Finally, we go into banking. And again, this is one of my favorite sections in Bonsai because it operates on the profit first system, which if you're not familiar, if you've never read the book, number one, I highly recommend you read that book because it'll really help you organize your finances for your business, but then also make it clear how much you really need to be making so that you can always take home a consistent salary while also saving for a profit and like saving for your taxes and then also saving money to reinvest into the business as well. So the way it works, basically I've set up these automations where for all the money that comes in to my account here from the invoices that are paid, a certain percentage goes into paying operating expenses, a certain percentage goes into owner's pay for me to take home a consistent salary, a certain amount goes into profit. This is for investing into the business later on, and then a certain amount gets set aside automatically for taxes as well. I then will take the money for the taxes and set it into a different bank account that is only used to pay taxes. And then that way I never really see the money that is supposed to be going towards taxes. So I'm never tempted to try and take out the money and then not pay it off later, obviously. So this makes it super easy to make sure that you're allocating money correctly throughout your business. And quite honestly, you don't even need to think about it once you have it set up. So the profit first envelope system here is fantastic and is one of the main reasons why I was convinced to go with Bonsai, even though it did require some work to set up and move away from all the different tools I was using. The Profit First system is huge in my view if you're a bit of a financial nerd, if you will. So I love the Profit First built-in functionality of Bonsai. Another reason why I chose Bonsai was because, especially early on in my business career where I was stressed about paying taxes and had no idea how to do it, it does help you pay your taxes. Of course, I would recommend 
No financial advice is being given here whatsoever in this video, but I would recommend you get a CPA or an accountant just to double check it and make sure you're paying the right amount of taxes because the last thing you want to ever find out when running your own business as an entrepreneur is the fact that you might owe back taxes after not paying the correct amount in tax and you do not want that at all whatsoever because cash flow is hard when you're an entrepreneur. So what I like here is that based on the amount you're making and your expenses, it'll tell you how much you owe in federal taxes and then how much you owe in state taxes and then you can track your payments here as well and then you can see upcoming quarterly estimated taxes so this is really great for staying on track of your taxes and making sure those get paid out to the irs on time come tax time honestly bonsai has made it super easy for me while working with the cpa to make sure all this information is accurate up to date we can file the taxes we can claim all the deductions possible and then we can hopefully get a return or at least get a zero so that we weren't paying more than we had to all throughout the year. Overall, Bonsai has just been super helpful for staying organized, staying up to date, and really with all this transparency and seeing exactly how much money I'm making, when new money is gonna be coming in, what proposals are out just gives me so much peace of mind because I'm able to access any information I need to versus wondering and not having any easy answers and then not getting the answers I need because I don't want to look through all my emails and figure it all out and then just being stressed about the unknown. If you feel like you are very unorganized in your business and especially if you're new to freelancing or being an entrepreneur, Bonsai, I think, is just a no-brainer solution, quite honestly, as long as you have a use case for all the different things I covered here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is the video for today, going over how I use Bonsai day in and day out as a tool that has essentially become my centralized business dashboard. So like I said, if you're at all interested in learning more, you can check out the link in the description where you can go to their website, explore all their features, and maybe even sign up for a free trial if you're interested. If you have any questions or comments about how I use the tool in my business, then you can definitely feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe because like I said, I'm putting out at least one video per week all about the branding, web design, and digital marketing type work I'm doing for my clients, as well as a lot of behind the scenes videos like this one, all about how I run and and operate my business as an independent marketing strategy. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Thank you for watching. Bye.